Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to have a look at the Kenko Spacia 800C. It's a small cassegrain. It's actually a catadioptric cassegrain. It's uh, about uh, 800 millimeters in focal length, so it's a pretty fast cassegrain. And if you know anything about optics, you know that cassegrains normally aren't made very fast, not as fast as that. This one has uh, corrector lenses and so forth on the inside. That makes it a catadioptric. So it's not really a full-on uh, cassegrain, although it has all the appearances of one. And as you can see, it's got a huge secondary. <laughs> that also is one of the reasons you don't usually see very, very fast cassegrains. This is what we would call a fast one here, 800 millimeters f8. So uh, that's because the secondary usually has to be so big. Anyway, it's got a bunch of correctors in there. And uh, the large secondary obstruction you would think would be uh, killer bad for this thing. But it's, it's, it's a compromise. It's definitely a compromise. But it's not as bad as you might think. The optics are actually pretty good in this scope. But the real downside to this scope is this, tri <laughs> this tripod, this laughable tripod. It's absolutely horrible. The first thing, and I believe this is the one that came with the scope. I don't think it's been replaced, but certainly that's the first thing you're going to do is throw away this completely useless tripod and put it on a decent tripod. The mount is not bad. Uh, the mount is it's a cute little mount. That's honestly one of the reasons I bought this scope was because this cute little equatorial mount is just charming, just completely captivating to me. Um, and you can see it, it works okay, the mount does. It's got a slow motion bright ascension, slow motion declination. It's, <laughs> look how shaky it is, it just, it makes me laugh every time I think about it. It also suffers from the deficiency of being set up for 965 eyepieces. It comes with 965 eyepieces and uh, 965 diagonal. It is, luckily enough, you can use a standard Vixen adapter and put inch and a quarter uh, eyepieces on this for a bit of improvement. The finder here is, uh, like the tripod, somewhat laughable. It's uh, barely usable. You might be able to use it to find the moon if you're very lucky. Um, you know, it, it's just not, it's not a great finder. So it, it's clearly designed to be an attractive telescope. It certainly was attractive to me. Mostly, frankly, the mount. I'm just completely sold on the mount. The yellow color doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't hurt either. I really like that. So it's, uh, it's a charming little scope. Functional, more or less. <laughs> 800 focal length is a lot, 800 millimeters focal length is a lot to put on this kind of a, a mount. It's just way too much. If this was a 300 millimeter scope, You'd still want to replace the tripod. The tripod is, is horrible. It's got to go. Uh, so anyway, let's have a look at this on a, uh, on a little better mount, a little better arrangement for the mount. Here's the scope set up with an inch and a quarter adapter, inch and a quarter eyepieces. It's got a nice tabletop mount. This is a, a custom mount that I made for a Takahashi, a small Takahashi mount that fits very nicely. Anyway, it's now set up as a, in a much better telescope, much better configuration. Be sure to check out my video linked in the description where I compare this scope with several other catadioptric Cassegrain telescopes. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the Kinko Spacia 800C. Thank you very much for watching.